Are you looking for reliable trade information to identify new opportunities in the African market? There has never been a better time to take your business to the next level thanks to the AFCFTA. Visit the African Trade Observatory, an online business intelligence dashboard providing all the necessary information for and about the African region you need to start your trade journey. In our first video tutorial, we looked at how the compare model could help in identifying export opportunities across Africa using an example of a Nigerian firm exporting soups and broth preparations. Now let's dig deeper to assess detailed information on the target market using the Explore model. Using this model, you'll find answers to key questions such as How high is demand for my product in the destination market? Is there any room for additional export growth? Which are the market access requirements? We will build upon our previous example, a Nigerian firm aiming at identifying export opportunities for soups and broth preparations in Africa and review the detailed market information for a specific market. To access the Explore model, we can either directly enter the market and product combination from the Explore search box in the homepage, or if you come from the Compare model, you can click on the last column and the search icon next to the selected destination market. We will select one of the five attractive markets displayed on the screen. For example, Cote d'Ivoire. A new window will appear. On top, you will find three sessions market opportunities, market conditions, and business contacts. Let's have a closer look at what types of information are available. The market opportunities session allows you to discover market shares for your products in your destination market, regionally and worldwide. Also, it shows the room for additional export growth in the next four years and the evolution of import values over the last 10 years. You can move the mouse over the eye icon next to each title for more information and a description of each graph. Nearly 20% of Côte d'Ivoire's soup and broth imports come from Nigeria, and Nigerian exports account for 1% of the total market share in Africa. Next to this graph, we observe the total export potential of $863,000 by 2026 and the upward 12% import growth from 2017 to 2021. Below, we can see the evolution of imports over time. This shows us that imports in Côte d'Ivoire have increased in recent years, particularly since 2018, and there is still additional room for growth. After learning more about the market size and trends, let's explore the market conditions tab. By scrolling down, we find detailed information about tariffs and regulatory requirements, taxes and other fees, as well as voluntary sustainability standards. Let's start with customs tariffs, levied at the time of importation and mainly paid by the importer. It is important to select the correct product at the national tariff line. Our example shows that Nigerian exporters can benefit from a 0% preferential tariff in Côte d'Ivoire because these two countries are members of the ECOWAS Regional Economic Group. The tariff that applies to all members of the WTO is 20%. This is great news, but not enough information to benefit from this 0% preferential tariff. We also must comply with the rules of origin that determine whether the soups and broths have sufficient Nigerian inputs to qualify for the preferential tariff and present the appropriate certificate of origin. In this example, the regional value content of the soups and broth must be at least 30%, and there is also a link to assess the certificate of origin and start filling it in. Beyond the cost of assessing the market in the form of tariffs, businesses also face diverse regulatory requirements. These mandatory obligations are established by laws in your target market, the transit country, or your own country. If we look at this information, we see that our Nigerian exporter must comply with four regulatory requirements, three market conditions, and one pre-shipment and inspection requirement. By clicking on the plus below, you will assess additional information about the related official regulation, including a link to the online source. As more data continues to be gathered, 
you'll be able to access information on domestic taxes as well as private standards. The journey continues with a business contact session in which you'll find useful contact information about trade finance providers and trade promotion organizations that can support your business reaching new markets in Africa. In this example, we observe that there is one trade finance provider and two trade promotion organizations in Nigeria. To get their contact details, click on the plus icon. This session will be further expanded with additional useful contacts. If you wish to continue your research and explore another attractive market for your products, you can refine your research by choosing a new partner under the two drop down interactive menu and then clicking on the button next to search fields. Data-driven business decisions about African opportunities start here. Visit ato.africa.